Hello everyone, my name is Apple Guy, and welcome back to the episode of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. In the previous video, we beat the gym in Fortree City. It went spectacularly. We slept, we slept it, we swept it. It was a very easy gym battle. On today's video, we're going to be moving on from Fortree, uh, eventually heading east uh, back towards Route 121 and uh, onwards. Uh, but first, we have to do a quick peek of all the places that we missed, such as for some reason that Kecleon being a Kecleon, and this Kecleon also being a Kecleon. You can catch these Kecleon if you're a person who wants to complete the Pokedex or catch a Kecleon to use in battle, um, but I'm just going to be running from them. I also have Flatbird in the front now because Flatbird is one of the weaker team members, and um, we're going to need to sort of figure out how we're going to do uh, leveling for the next gym. Something to consider, definitely. Um, anyway, that was the two Kecleon that were here. I think those were all the Kecleon. I did say I was going to go through and remove those. So now they are removed and we can head on forth. That is the plan here. Of course, we have already completed everything to do here on Route 120. We just need to head to Route 121 now. Did we go back through there? We did not. We did. I think we did. We got a rare candy, I believe. Great. So those rare candies are going to become useful fairly soon. And I mean that for real. Oh, also, something of note, the first interesting location is actually in this area above us. Uh, you see the cave entrance there at the very top of the screen. Uh, that was the first interesting location from two videos ago, I said to like take notes, um, but I forgot where that interesting location was. But now I have corrected my mistake, and you know where the interesting location is for the upcoming quiz. Oh, check it out on Mightyena. Mightyena is the evolved form of Poochyena, and we've seen, uh, we've seen Mightyena, I believe. If we haven't seen them already, we're going to see them a lot in the future because a lot of the evil teams, Team Aqua and Team Magma, uh, will use a Mightyena because it's the Evolve from Poochyena. Alright, let's continue forth and down this way as well. And over, and then we will very quickly approach the area we need to be in, Route 121. It runs uh, west to east, and uh, here it is right now, Route 121. There are, of course, battles to be had, and all sorts of joys to uncover. There are powers beyond our understanding in this world. Can't you see that I have all this stuff with me? Despite that, you still want and insist we battle? I think I might have switched I think the girl might have been the psychic and the boy is like the hoarder. Um, Hex Maniac Tammy and Bug Maniac Kale. That's okay. We have a Bug Maniac and a Ghost Maniac. So, two peas in a pod, really. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start with the wing attack there, and then maybe the iron tail on the Duskull. Duskull is a ghost type, so we have to be cautious about what we use on on the Duskull, because if I wanted to use a normal attack or a fighting attack, it would completely miss, because that's what ghost types are known for, missing uh, normal and fighting attacks. Now we have a Shuppet, same boat, I believe. That's a very dull Shuppet. I thought Shuppet was a little more purple. Odd. Maybe, uh... Maybe it's kind of like a Jinx thing, where Jinx changed colors between generations or, or whatever. Um, Shuppet, yeah, that looks like a really light Shuppet. Like a gray Shuppet instead of a purple Shuppet. Whatevs. Anyway, Beautyfly is the next Pokemon uh, from the Bug Catcher, which we will, of course, have an, a very easy time defeating this Beautyfly. Beautifly, not Beautyfly. Damascus level 38, very cool. I gotta take the EXP share off of Damascus. You definitely don't need it anymore, big guy. You will you will be okay without it, I guarantee it. Oh, you missed. That's such a, a bummer. Now we're getting Morning Sun. Morning Sun will restore the Beautifly's HP, uh, which honestly won't do much because a Flatbird Wing Attack will take it down. Um, but it was a good attempt, Beautifly. Good attempt. Okay, some EXP for everyone, and down goes the enemies. I have lost. Of course I lost, I'm holding stuff in both hands. That's so funny. Hey, I didn't ask to battle you, you asked to battle me. Let's not get things confused here, man. All right, so let's go ahead and take the EXP share, and we're gonna go ahead and give the EXP share to Libra, who needs it probably more than anyone else. We still haven't used Libra in like a, a, a real battle yet, which is a bit of a bummer. Uh, there's some berries we should grab because I always grab the berries. There's some Persim berries. Very cool. 
Go ahead and uh, put the person berries in the bag and then plant a person berry right here. Heals confusion in battle, so potentially useful. By the way, I found out where the raspberries um, were from, why I thought the raspberries and the pineapple berries were useful. Uh, it's because they- oh, it was a wee pear berry, I think, right? I don't remember. Anyway, they're from Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go use the, the pinap berries for extra candies, the raspberries to like calm a Pokemon, um, that sort of a thing. So that's why it was- I don't remember which were here. Oh, it was a Rossberry, I think. I don't know, whatever. Let's just plant whatever we feel like. These are orange berries. Chesto berries, sure. Anyway, that, that's where that came from. A couple videos ago, I was like, I swear those were good berries. Um, in Pokemon Go they are. Chesto berry. Here we go. Okay. And now let's continue forth. Battling on. Whoop. Hey. Stop! Have a good look at my precious Pokemon! Okay, I will take a peek at your Pokemon. Just because you asked so nicely. This is Beauty Jessica, who has a Kecleon. Which is like the opposite of what you would expect a, a beauty trainer to have, right? You'd expect a beauty trainer to have like a beautifly. Actually, it's a bug, so maybe not a beautifly. I don't know. What would you expect a beauty trainer? Like like a a glammy hour. Well, glammy hour didn't exist in this game. A skitty, a delcaddy, something like that. Something in the uh, adorable department, I guess. Kecleon is probably like slimy and like licks his own eyeballs and like that kind of thing. Anyway. Also has a Sviper, wow. Okay, so you have a, a lizard and a snake. So I guess you're like a reptile keeper on the side. You do reptile things in your free time. And, oh, please don't poison me. Please don't poison me, please don't poison me, please don't poison me. Thank you. I asked politely, so... I guess I shouldn't be surprised if my wish was granted. Alright, down goes the Sviper. Leopard, just barely not getting a level up. Next battle for sure. Oh, how dare you! Don't take it so seriously! You accosted me. That's one thing about these Pokemon trainers. I took it easy on you this time. It won't be that way next time. They accost me and then get mad when they've been accosted. That's not how that works. Okay, we're to move out to Mount Pyre. Um... Well, that's convenient, I guess. Hey, I wonder where Team Magma- or Team Aqua's going. Just got a hunch it might be Mount Pyre. Weird. Yeah, Mount Pyre is our next location. We will head to Mount Pyre shortly, but we're going to take a bit of a pit stop elsewhere first. We got a Zinc. Uh, let's see what we think about a Zinc. What do we think about a Zinc? Special Defense. Not really sure who would be the Special Defense uh, shoe-in. Obviously, like if it's Special Attack, it, it gives a direct indication that we need to give it to, to Aphrodite. But special defense, I'm not really sure off the top of my head, unless maybe Damascus just to build up the tankiness. Build a fair Pokemon, the Safari Zone. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, there is a Safari Zone here in Hoenn, and this is said Safari Zone. Welcome to Safari Zone. All you can capture is 500 Poké Dollars. Would you like to play a Safari game? Not right now. The Safari Zone, of course, is an area where you can catch wild Pokemon in a non-traditional battle sense, instead of battling the Pokemon to see if you can catch it. Uh, you are instead given uh, 30 Safari Balls, and Bait, and Mud. And you have to sort of play like this balancing game of, you know, you find a Pokemon in the wild and you throw Bait at it to make it stay longer, but it doesn't want to get caught. Or you throw Mud to make it want to leave, but want to get caught. Stuff like that. A lot of cool Pokemon in the Safari Zone. I think I'll cover the Safari Zone some other point. Uh, in the event that I don't do anything at all in the Safari Zone, well, that's the 411 in the Safari Zone, I guess. I don't know in this game if there's a required item or not in the Safari Zone. If there is, we'll obviously be going into it, um, but I'll get back to you on that in a little bit. In Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, there is a required item in the Safari Zone in the form of uh, the Safari Warden's False Teeth, which you give to him, and then he gives you uh, an important HM. Okay, I was explaining the Safari Zone and somehow everyone is confused. Who, uh, who arranged that? Who made that happen? Flappert, I believe in you. Darn it. How dare you. Damascus, I believe in you. Dang it. How dare you. What do these Pokemon think? Using Dizzy Punch now. Oh no, please. Don't confuse my Pokemon. Oh shoot. Guys, the slacking is, is ramping up. Thank you, Flappert, for snapping out of confusion. I appreciate that. That is useful and helpful and necessary. Down goes Spinda. 
And also, down goes slacking. Very, very convenient. There's Flatbird's well-deserved level up. Damascus gaining some EXP, Libra gaining some EXP as well. And another round from the second Pokemon. I blew it in front of my junior student partner. I didn't even talk to those people at the start of the battle. Weird tree. You can use it to make a secret base. Let's continue this way. Hey, I want this. Aw, oh, man. There's nothing I love more than checking out other people's Pokemon. I want everybody to see the Pokemon I've raised. Aw, oh, you guys would be great friends. You want a showboat? He wants to watch someone showboat? Pokemon Breeder Miles and Pokemon Breeder Pat have a combined six Pokemon. A combined six baby Pokemon. We might be here for a while. But that's okay, because we have nothing better to do with our time than continue to battle eastward on this route. Eventually, we'll have to track Team Makwa down at Mount Pyre, but we'll get to that when we get to that. I mean, who's in a rush? Certainly not me. A Wingle! Wow, how does it feel as a Wingle to face off against a Pelipper? By the way, I'm having Damascus build up a rollout, so we should hopefully see some very large uh, rollout gains. That'd be cool to see. Um, although honestly, I kind of wish that the targets were swapped, but that's fine. Uh, this Surf probably won't do much to either combatant, um, but we'll survive with that. Actually, it might have been good on the Shroomish, because it could weaken it enough to where the rollout from Damascus could take out the Shroomish. So maybe that was a good play. I think that was a good play, actually. I'm going to take that back. I think I did a good move. Libra up to level 35. Very cool. And we will continue the battle now. I think Libra feels so weak because Libra is still a, a basic Pokemon or an unevolved Pokemon. Basic is the term that uh, the Pokemon trading card game uses. You have a basic Pokemon, uh, which would be like... Uh, Trico, and then it evolves into a stage one, which would be Grovile, and then a stage two, which is Sceptile, is how the, the hierarchy works there. And so because uh, Libra is still a, a basic Pokemon, I feel like it's underpowered, or that it's not strong enough to like actually fight in a battle, but it can definitely hold its own. There's no reason why it shouldn't. Oh, wow, Damascus having that super rollout against the Tropius. Nice! Very well done, Damascus. Great job. Great, great job. Libra gaining some EXP as well, and down go the two Pokemon breeders. Super awesome! Wow, spectacular! I switched the voices again, but it doesn't matter, it's all water under the bridge. Hey, remember all that stuff I said about Libra being a basic? Gotcha. Libra is evolving! Our Trap Inch that saw very little battle will now evolve into... its evolution. Wow. It will probably also see very little battle. However, we now have... Dun, 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 da, 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 da. Congratulations, your Libra evolved into a Vibrava. Trying to learn Dragon Breath, we will accept that because I believe at this stage, Libra becomes... Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, no. Yes, learn Dragon Breath. And we'll learn it over... Um, Sand Tomb. I believe at this point, Vibrava is part Dragon type. I think we are a... Ground Dragon? Let's confirm that. Let's see. We are a Ground Dragon, indeed. Okay. Which is pretty darn hype. So we're gonna go ahead and switch Libra into the front. And we can also pick up this Revive. Very cool. Not necessary. We have no Pokemon currently fainted, but cool to have nonetheless. Yeah, so that's that's pretty massive for, uh, for Vibrava to have a level up. With my Pokemon, I have traveled to the world's four corners. You might say I have some confidence in my abilities. Really, you travel all the way to Sinnoh? You don't even know what that is when this game came out. You've traveled to Unova and Kalos and uh, what comes after Kalos? The Alola, I think, right? Alola? And then after Alola comes England, right? And then Sword and Shield. I don't know, I haven't played Pokemon. <laughs> Uh, modern Pokemon, and, and I have no clue what regions come after Alola. Heck, I hardly know Alola. Anyway, we're using Rock Tomb because this Manetric is an Electric type, and we're throwing rocks at it. That's how you handle an Electric type problem by chucking rocks at it. Problem handled. Perfect. Libra, of course, still very, very small, and I will say that Libra does have a third evolution or a stage two evolution. It, it has one more evolution in the book. So, 
we will grow even stronger when it comes time to get that evolution. Wild Pokemon, how, how dare you? Why would you encounter me? A Wingle. A Wingle. Oh, actually, I'm curious about something. I'm going to check something and it might be off camera, depending on if it's true or not. Oh, Carbos. Let's use the Carbos first. And then while I'm in my bag, I'll check the thing I wanted to check. And if it's true... Oh, wait. who? I don't even know how I give the Carbos to. Whatever. Let's check the thing I wanted to check. If it's real, you'll see it now. If it's not real, you won't see it. I'll cut it out of the video. Ah, it is real. Libra can fly, which means we can give Libra the HM for fly. And we'll teach it over fan attack. And now we have a Pokemon that can use Fly. So I didn't want to give it to Flatbird because I knew Libra was going to be able to learn it. And so Libra now has an HM. Fly um, allows you to teleport to any Pokemon Center you have previously been to. And that is super useful for things like nicknaming a Pokemon or going to the shops or stuff like that. Very, very useful. So we're going to want to definitely keep that uh, in, in our back pocket. We have a Pikachu. This might be the first Pikachu of the game. Wow. And we can now show off Dragon Breath as well against said Pikachu. And voila. Maybe we should make Libra fast. Let's check Libra's stats after this. If Libra has semi-high speed, I'm going to give Libra the Carbos. If not, I'll probably give it to Aphrodite. And we'll just make Aphrodite like a speed special attacker. Down goes Vanessa. This isn't what I meant. Sorry, Vanessa. Okay, quick, quick stats check. Stats check. Stats check on Libra. Summary. Uh, what are your... Speed 53. I mean, not bad speed. Sure, why don't we make you a fast attacker? Let's give you our Carbos. Which should be in our items pouch at some point. Carbos, we have two of them. This is speed, right? Yeah, speed stat. Okay. Great. Up speed. And up speed. There we go. Now you're gonna be a fast little uh, ant lion. Not a dragonfly as one might think. Libra is, in fact, an ant lion. An ant lion is a bug of some sort. Here's a nugget. Nugget, of course, an item you can sell at the Pokemart for a high price. Or for me, it's an item that can clog your inventory until you realize I have to sell something. My inventory isn't infinite in this game. And then you sell it. So, really, a win win. Uh, for everyone. I get more money and a free inventory slot and an item gets picked up off the ground. I can't escape. Why not? Don't do that. Hey, how was that animation odor sleuth at all? It was me jumping back and forth really quickly. Is there a hidden item here? There is! There's a full heal! Nice. Full heal uh, serves to heal any potential status afflictions that we have. I have to battle all these trainers. There's a double trainer back there that I didn't fight yet. Uh, but I'm mostly curious to get over here into Lily Cove City, where the land ends and the sea begins. We won't be doing much in Lily Cove right now, but I will take a heal. Which serves the double purpose of unlocking Lily Cove as a flight location and allowing my Pokemon to be healed so I can go back and battle these last four trainers. And um, there we go. So it'll be great. We're not going to be exploring Lily Cove for a little while because we do have to uh, follow up on that Mount Pyre business. Um, so we'll be doing that in the next video. But it's, like I said, great to have that location set to flight now. And at some point I'll show off the, the little flight screen. Um, if you haven't seen flight from Pokemon uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, definitely check that out. They did a really cool thing for flying where instead of it being like an instant warp system, it was more of like an interactive actual flying uh, mechanic and so you would get to like free range fly around almost like how you could fly in like let's go um or, or like let's go pikachu or let's go eevee if you wanted to like ride a charizard or something where you can just move around in the air it was super cool um and they've never done anything like it to my knowledge well libra you can't win them all eh can't win them all let's send newt in because newt is also kind of under leveled surprisingly Shockingly. Uh, let's go ahead and use a Leaf Blade and end this here. Maybe I should move Newt to the front? I guess I'll move Newt to the front. I was excited about Libra being newly uh, evolved, but now I just want to get this done. Vigoroth. Vigoroth is the uh, evolution prior to becoming a slacking, and somehow it goes from a very, very tired sloth into a very, very active Vigoroth 
into a very, very tired slacking. I guess there's like that middle stage where it just feels like really going for it. It's like how, uh, you know, babies, babies need a lot of sleep, and then children need less than a lot of sleep, and then teenagers need a lot of sleep. So it's that same sort of, uh, like, act of, you know, that middle stage where they're all not in need of sleep. That's, um, ask a scientist, I don't know. Ask your doctor about it. <laughs> ask your doctor about how much sleep people need, I don't know. Alright, let's battle this guy, and then another set of trainers, and then that will be all. We can head to Mount Pyre successfully, and make progress. This is Cool Trainer Marcel, again, a duo of Pokémon on his Pokémon belt, that we'll be taking out very quickly with a double set of Leaf Blades. Of course, Manetric, a very strong electric type, but very weak compared to the power of Newt. Newt being the starter I have raised from day one. Man, stop spamming Hyper Potions, you're drawing out the length of the video. <laughs> How dare you? Why would you do that? Come on, Newt, get a critical hit so he doesn't have a chance to pull another Hyper Potion out of thin air. Okay, at least he didn't have another Hyper Potion to pull out of thin air. That was a really strong quick attack. I went from 94 to 81, that's a 13 point deduction, that's crazy. Like 11% of my HP. And now I'm paralyzed. You just couldn't let me win one, could you? Newt's level 37, very good. Cool Trainer Marcel using a Shift Tree. Shift Tree is a Dark Grass type or a Grass Dark type. Two of those types together, not sure which order. And this is a, a situation where order does matter. That's either a permutation or a combination. I think it's a permutation, but I'm not, no, it's a combination. I don't know, it's one of those two. That's a stats thing. I don't know why, I'm, you're gonna have to call a scientist about the sleep thing, you're gonna have to call a, a, a statistician about the combination permutation thing, or just use Wikipedia, I mean, that works too. Hey, the shift tree's down, that's what's important from this battle. And we will get a lot of money because we involved Newt in the battle. Newt, of course, holding our amulet coin. Uh, let's go ahead and treat Newt's paralysis, though, with a full heal that I'm conveniently uh, selecting. Perfect. And we have one double battle to go before it is time to head over to Mount Pyre. Oh, I already battled these people. Oh, nice. Very cool. Okay, well, why don't we go ahead and use Libra and Fly back to Lilicove right here. It'll take us right outside the Pokemon Center. We can heal up and then walk back to the Mount Pyre area. All right, it is but a short jaunt over there. Gonna go ahead and potentially activate a repel. No, we should be good. We shouldn't need a repel. There's like a teeny bit of grass. There we go. And I'll just be patient and I will walk. All right. So here's where we saw the Team Aqua Grunts go. So at the start of the next video, we will head south here and figure out just where they are going. But ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be all for now. I wanna thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe and tell your friends about my channel if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me when you guys spread my videos around, and I'll catch you guys all back here next time for my next video. Until then, as always, take care.